All right, guys. It's a little bit colder than I expected and um, didn't dress for it. But I got a little bit of extra time to myself um, before I meet up with someone to get out on a boat. We're going for pike today mainly, um, preferably casting, maybe some trolling because we will be on a boat, uh, whatever the, the fish tell us to do. But either way, I got some, some free time. He's running a little bit behind. So I'm going to hit the shoreline right behind me and right around the boat ramp area. Just taking one rod, net, and of course, forceps, big forceps because we're dealing with some big toothy gators here. So, um, Without further ado, let's go ahead and get on the water. Like I said, I'm going for pike today, focusing on pike. One of my favorite techniques to chase pike with is throwing a jerk bait. Whether you're casting or trolling, um, really the only variables I'll change when it comes to jerkbait fishing is the color choice, the pattern, and the depth. You know, I'll go from shallow diving or even floating jerkbaits to deep diving jerkbaits. They're an awesome bait. If you feel like the fish are wanting something a little more subtle, then you change to soft plastic jerkbait, and that would be your your flukes and paddle tail swim baits and stuff. But you fish them like a jerkbait, not like a swim bait. But more often than not, this hard jerk bait is gonna do the trick. I do like flukes a little bit better because it's single hook. You know, you're using, you can make a weedless, weightless, fishing in the shallows, or a lot of times the pike are, and you have a single hook to deal with, not three treble hooks to deal with, with a tooth, toothy fish, this many hooks, or a single hook. It, it makes a big difference. So, it's really up to you to test what the fish like. I'm starting off with this black and orange wrap with the shadow wrap today. Just because I know that there's perch in this lake, and Whenever there's a smaller um, fish species in a lake and you have something like tiger musky and pike, a lot of times they're going to be focused on eating the perch, the sunfish and bluegill and you know stuff like that. I like to reel down right away just to get the bait down to running depth and you leave slack line in your line. And you'd be surprised at how hard you can jerk a jerk bait and get bit. I like to focus on a one, one, two, one, one, two cadence. And have fun with it. I mean, change your pause times. You could make, you go constant. You go one, one, two, one, one, two. As long as you leave slack line at the end of your rod tip, that bait's gonna allow, it's gonna be allowed to swerve off to the side, turn around. It's gonna be able to dart around and give that erratic action that makes jerk baits works so well. I'm slurring my words a little bit. My face is a little cold. Um, but uh, yeah, you can fish these very aggressively. You can also do tiny jerks. I mean, just, you go. Well, I fish for smallmouth with, with jerk baits like this, or a little jerk like that works great. I fish for pike where I'm going. And let it sit for, you know, five seconds and boom, fish on. So. It's all an individual on an individual basis. Have fun with it. Try everything, everything and anything. And if you get a fish to follow, a lot of times you have the pattern figured out. I would change the color. And if the same thing they just follow, then I would try a completely different cadence and see if you get them to actually strike. And this isn't just for pike. You know, like I said, this is for bass. Jerk baits mimic a, a wounded or dying bait fish, or just fish in general. And that's an easy target for any predatory species. So any species that, that's aggressive, you know, like brown trout especially. I love throwing jerk baits for brown trout and big rainbows. Uh, trout love jerk baits, pike, bass, walleye. The biggest walleye I've ever caught, 30 inches long, was on a jerk bait. Um, you name it. It's an easy meal. A predatory fish isn't going to pass up an easy meal. The direction you jerk a jerk bait with your rod tip will actually determine whether your bait goes down when you jerk it or if it goes up. So if you want your bait to run a, a little bit deeper, I think I hit a, a tree right there, then jerk your rod tip towards the water, like so. If you need your bait to stay up higher, say you're casting from a boat at the bank in the shallows, you can start off jerking upwards and your bait will stay up higher in the water column. And as you, Meg, and as you come off of the bank, 
you, then you start to move your rocket down, jerking, and your bait will come deeper with that decline all, all the way from the bank. When you guys get snagged with the jerk bait, always check your hooks. These hooks are actually changed out. I replaced most of the hooks on my jerk baits. Um, these wrap with a shadow wrap. If you're going for bass and stuff, they're great. Those hooks are very thin. They can penetrate the cartilage of the bass's mouth very easily. Same with trout. If you're going for big trout, I recommend leaving the stock hooks on there. But they are thin. And so if you get snagged, those hooks will bend out. And you don't want to hook into a big fish and have a hook bend out on you. So. Replace your hooks if you're going for bigger fish like pike and stuff that'll test the strength of your hooks. There's one. Got one. No way. Got one. I got one, you guys. I'm hooked up. He has me in the, in the trees right now in the bushes. I want him to go away from him though. I don't know what it is. Let's go. Little pike. It's a little pike, you guys. What I did there was I started jerking it softer. That's a nice fish. Little pike, little hammer handle, but still nonetheless, first fish of the day. There we go. Nice little pike right there, you guys. On the jerk bait, just goes to show you, um, I switched up and started going a little softer with my jerks, smaller jerks, and sure enough, that was I think my second cast, switching up the, the, the rhythm. Just try everything. I mean, you can't go wrong with the jerk bait. Go ahead and let this guy go. He's probably, I don't know, eight, 18 inches or so. You know, around there. That 18 inch mark, 18, 20 inch. Not a giant um, in terms of pike, but nice fish nonetheless. And your line affects your depth more than anything, and it affects the action that, that your jerk bait's allowed to have. The thinner the line, the more action and the deeper it'll go. Just keep that in mind. Thinner line, deeper and more action. I'm going for pike right now, so I'm using a 20 pound fluorocarbon leader, which is very thick for jerk baits. So this guy is not gonna go deep pretty much no matter what I, you know, it's not gonna go more than four, deep, four feet, maybe five at most, um, because that leader's so, so thick. And it's not going to have as much action. It's not going to swing to the side as much as it could. I'm going to have to leave extra slack line to give it extra room to play. Um, but if I want, if I was focused on action over, you know, just a fish cutting me off, then say I was going for bass, I would use eight pound fluorocarbon is my favorite, is my go-to for a leader or for your your complete line setup. Eight pound, ten pound, depending on the size of the fish you're going for. But uh, yeah, lighter line, more action, and deeper. Keep that in mind because you might not want it to go as deep and you're using light line. So that would, you know, give you a little tip as to why you're snagging up and you're like, man, it, it's not that it it should be too deep for the lure, but you're using light line, so it's going a little bit deeper than than it's recommended to go. So keep that in mind. And you could use that to your advantage. I like fluorocarbon simply because one, low visibility, two, it sinks. So it'll help your jerk baits get down. And three, it's very resistant to abrasion from toothy fish, like what I'm going for today, or from trees and rocks, cut, you know, wearing down on your line. It's gonna hold up better than mono. And if you want your bait to go up higher, to stay up higher in the water column, go with mono. If you want your bait to go deeper, use floral. Comment down below if jerk baits are your favorite lure. What what's your go-to lure? In fact, maybe it's not a jerk bait at all. Maybe it's something else. Maybe you like, you know, for bass, you like chatter baits, spinner baits soft plastics you name it make sure to hit the like and subscribe button join me on these adventures put out a lot more content i really appreciate all the support you guys have given me 